Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. Alright you guys, so for today's video, we are going to be doing some more summer DIYs. I live at a lake and you guys know that summer and beach and nautical and all of that is 100% my jam. So I really, really hope that you enjoy this video today. And of course, for today's projects, I've used mostly Dollar Tree items, some items from Dollarama. And with all of that being said, you guys, let's get into the first DIY. All right, everybody, here we go with DIY number one. And so I am going to use one of these palette signs that I got at Dollarama, but I'm going to show you all down in the States how you can make one. So I just took a couple of garden stakes. You can use those painter sticks as well. And these uh, wooden uh, slabs, I guess, from Dollar Tree. And check this out. You can 100% make one yourself. And it is also a little bit bigger. So you'll see here, check it out. So you can make your own, you guys. All right, so I'm using Cashew Hazelnut Peacock, and the peacock I got from Julie, one of my lovely subscribers, and Nautical by Folk Art, um, and White Chalk Paint, obviously. So we're gonna start here and use the hazelnut, and I'm just kind of going on an angle with this paint, throwing in a little bit of white so it's not so, like just to give it some dimension, right? and going up on an angle just like that and now we are going to use some cashew by waverly and just kind of blend that up so it looks like an ombre effect right because we want to make sure you know it looks somewhat natural and just blend 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 adding a little bit more hazelnut and then putting some white down. So this is going to be the water and using this lovely, gorgeous peacock color. So you can see there, I am definitely um, just, you know, blending it up so that there is that ombre effect. And you guys just go back and forth with your paint colors. You cannot screw this up, I promise you. You just have to keep on going over and over and over. And if you don't like how it looks, let it dry and then do it again until your eyes are happy. And you can see there that I am pulling some white just through, it kind of looks like the ripples of the waves a little bit. Um, and then I am going to dry all of that up with my heat gun and then paint some more. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? I just keep on going back and I dried it up. So now I'm going in with my white, creating those waves and just over and over and over. So here I am going to put my nautical on there as well. Now this color, I really had to blend in down into it, but it looks like phenomenal. Um, and just using my white chalk paint and going all the way up to the top there and blend 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 and then of course throwing some white to create those waves a little bit more blue like i said go over it and over it until your eyes are happy and i literally just played around just playing around with the colors playing around with the paint and it turns out so pretty like look at that and then I'm just showing you here I did go down the sides of the of the panels as well um, just to make sure that everything looked kind of finished and so now taking some hot glue and some nautical rope I think actually no this is just some twine I'm pretty sure I got it from the Dollar Tree and I went around four times 
with the rope in between the slats and then just snip it off and I'm gonna do that to all three of the spaces there. And then I cut this decal out on my Cricut. I love this, I think it's hilarious <laughs> because this is totally me. So it says, all she does is beach, beach, beach. <laughs> Oh, it just, it totally cracks me up. I love this so much. Look at that, you guys. It looks fantastic. And now I'm just going to take some wood beads that I got on Amazon, tie them up on the hanger that was already on there, and this project is done. Oh no, it's not, no, it's not done. I'm taking a seashell from Dollar Tree, and now this project is done. Isn't it great? I just absolutely love this sign. And here we go, DIY number two. Okay, so I'm using one of these glass of vases from the Dollar Tree. And again, going in with my cashew, we're gonna kind of do the same thing-ish, like color-wise, using um, the cashew and the hazelnut. And these colors are going to be on the bottom of this vase. And I don't, I don't think we really had to do this step, but you know, for your viewing pleasure, here is a little bit of painting of the hazelnut, but you'll see why, because I am going to texture the heck out of the bottom of this vase. And so just going in there and then instead of the peacock or the nautical color, I am using my Nantucket Blue by Folk Art, uh, my favorite, you guys know that. And I'm just going on the top of this vase. Now keep in mind, I did do two coats. All right, so now we're gonna take this cashew and some sand that I got at Dollarama. They have sand at Dollar Tree as well. And I am just going to mix that all together and we are going to paint this sand onto the bottom of this vase. This gave this vase so much texture. I absolutely love how the sand turned out. It looks so good. And you can see there like, I am literally just scooping it on. So, you know, and patting it down, using my paintbrush to kind of separate all the granules of sand and whatnot, um, and going all the way around the bottom. Now, I did leave this overnight to dry because I want, it's kind of thick, right? So I just wanted to be sure that it wasn't going anywhere and that everything was nice and set up for the next step here. So finish that up, finish it up, Brie, get her done. And there we go, next day and oh, doesn't that look fantastic? And I guess the hazelnut is kind of showing there. And um, so I am going to go back in. I'm sorry if this is a little bit out of frame, you guys, mama mia. And I'm just, going along, giving it a second coat, kind of filling in where it didn't fully cover when I was putting the, the sand on there, just to make sure that you can't see any of the glass. And now I am going to, oh, see, I guess I do show you. I'm doing the second coat of the Nantucket Blue, um, because when you paint glass, you guys, the first coat is never enough. Sometimes you do two, sometimes you do three. And so here, I am using my white chalk paint, 
and some um, baking soda. And we're gonna do the baking soda technique. So um, what I did here, instead of using more paint, I just added some water. And I wanted to get the right consistency because this is gonna kind of be like the foam on the waves when it's crashing to the beach, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted a little bit of a different texture um, for that versus the sand. This vase is textured to the max. And so here, same thing, kind of just like taking my brush and dabbing it on. Now, honestly, I wish I would have done this with a smaller brush because I just, like, it looks good, I like it, but I should have definitely done it with a smaller brush because I just think it's a little bit too thick. And so here you can see I am going in with just the white chalk paint, touching everything up, making sure that it's all good. And this was after it dried for a couple of hours. And there we go. Like, I don't mind it. It looks fine. I just think it's a little bit too thick. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it's too thick. So anyways, then taking my chippy brush and some of my white chalk paint, I'm just distressing the top there with a little bit of white. And now just finishing this off with some of that twine and this vase is done, you guys. It's so cute, so bitey. Mm. I absolutely love it. you guys I hope that you're enjoying these beachy summer DIYs I just wanted to pop in here really quickly just to say that if you like home decor on a budget you know stuff that looks kind of expensive but you really didn't spend a lot of money on it then you have come to the right place so make sure you tap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and also set your notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And with that said, you guys, let's get back into those projects. And rocking on it to DIY number three. Okay, so I found this scrap piece of wood in my garage and it measures to nine by 13, just so you know. This beach sign is from the Dollar Tree. And I am just using, like here you can see, I'm just kind of setting everything up to make sure that everything fits properly. And that deco, I, um, I cut out on my Cricut. And we're gonna do a reverse stencil. So, you know, just measuring it out, making sure it's nice and centered. And then burnishing it down, making sure it's nice and secure. Because like I said, reverse stencil. So I'm using Rust-Oleum white chalk paint and my foam roller. This is usually the way I like to do um, this kind of project, like when it's a bigger surface area that I'm you know, going over. Um, the roller just gives it a much smoother finish. But you can see, I love this piece of wood because you can see all of that, uh, like the wood grain through the white chalk paint, it looks fantastic. And now I'm just going to uh, weed out my letters here to show the natural wood underneath, just like that. This DIY is so easy, you guys, it's so easy and it's so cute. So just hot gluing that beach, I did nothing to it. It came in that color, like, can you ask for anything more awesome? I don't think so. And then using these hooks, um, I'm pretty sure I actually just got them at Walmart. 
Um, they always remind me of octopus, octopi. <laughs> they look like octopi to me. <laughs> and so I just put them where I needed them to be. I uh, placed a mark where the screws need to go using my hand drill. And we're just going to screw the screws in. <laughs> like this is a solid piece of decor you guys that you can hang your beach towels on or any towels if you don't want to put beach on there put something else on there you can do whatever you want but this is fantastic i absolutely love it and so i'm just using some nautical rope and i am going to go around the entire outside of this um, this project here uh, with my hot glue, nautical rope, you know, all the way around. And I did have to go around twice because of the thickness of the wood. But you know, whatever piece of wood that you are using, you know, you do you. And here just, you know, snipping off the excess, hot glue all the way around. And you guys, what I should have done is started on the top and wound it down to the bottom because you can kind of see the seam <laughs> in the corner, but just ignore it. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> And then I put some sawtooth hangers on the back. I didn't show it, but that's how I am going to hang this. Um, it's actually gonna go outside of my veranda and throwing one of these adorable little sea stars on there. And uh, that is it, you guys. This project is completed. I love it. All right, you guys, DIY number four. And you know what they say, save the best for last. So this is my absolute favorite. So you can see here, I am using these wooden rings. I got mine at Dollarama. They come in three different sizes, but I have seen the bigger ones at the Dollar Tree. So I'm not sure if they have other sizes, but keep your eyes out for these because they are, I love them. They're so awesome. And so here you can see, I'm just kind of, you know, coming up with a pattern um, using the three sizes of the wood rings. But you can see here, I changed my mind and I, uh, I like I threw in some of those half wood beads that I get off of Amazon. I'll leave the link down in the description box. And I think it just gave it a little bit more interest, right? Instead of just having all wood rings. But if that's all you have, then perfect. Use the wood rings. I think it looks great too. And so here to paint these up, I am going to use the Kathy Joe method. Thank you, Kathy Joe. You are amazing. Go watch Kathy Joe, you guys. And I just took some tape, put it upside down, like with the sticky side up, and I'm placing all of these rings and beads onto the tape to make it super, super easy to paint. So using my Nantucket blue, of course, I'm gonna go around and paint all of these up with that color. And watch this, ooh, transition game on point. It looks so good. And so now just with my chippy brush, we're just gonna use a little bit of white chalk paint and do a very quick dry brush to bring out the dimension of all the rings and the beads. And so here I am using one of these awesome plank sign things from the Dollar Tree. This has like a wood grain on it. It's fabulous. And I just cut it down to size. And now here I am using a Chamblain. <laughs> One of these crates. And I painted it up with my white chalk paint. 
And, and now, just using my chippy brush again and some white chalk paint, just giving a very, very rough coat. It does not have to be perfect. We want this to look weathered and beachy and fabulous. And I just want to take this opportunity to say hey to all of my breezers out there. I love you guys so much. You're amazing. And so here, I am just lining everything up to see exactly where I need to hot glue everything down. So I'm putting my pattern back onto the board here. Look at this, isn't it so pretty? And you'll see again, I'm gonna change my mind again, 100%. You know, this is the creative process, you guys. I'm looking at it and I'm like, ah, I don't really like those so close. And then I'm like, huh, maybe I'll just throw those in the center of those rings. Like that would work. And I love it. It looks great. So just fiddle, you guys. Crafting is all about, you know, you don't have to have everything perfect at the beginning because things literally just develop before your eyes. And it's amazing how, you know, you have a vision and then it turns out so much better than it did in your head. I freaking love it when that happens. And so here you can see, I'm just using my hot glue, going all the way down, gluing all the rings on, all of the beads on, exactly where I want them and a rock and roll. And so I just created a really easy hanger, you guys. I just took some nautical rope, um, tied some big knots into each side of it, clipped off the excess, and I'm literally just hot gluing that down. This isn't super heavy, so it definitely works with just the hot glue. If you want to do like, you know, a different type of hanger, if you want to make a, um, a hole in the wood and drill it through and then do your knots you do you absolutely and so I did oh the dishwasher is done <laughs> awesome <laughs> and so you can see here I put some floral foam into that little crate and a few succulents um, one of them I believe is from Walmart and the other like the string of pearls is from Amazon I will link those or I'll link the string of pearls down in my description box and then I'm just using some of my Spanish moss jamming it down in there with a steak knife <laughs> whatever works and then making sure that all of that floral foam is completely covered and this project is done I love it so much you guys it's hanging in my veranda right now you guys that is it for these nautical beachy summer fabulous DIYs I really hope that you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making these like this is my jam you guys know that so let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite and if you're gonna try any of them now keep in mind if you don't like the colors I'm using I know that it's very nautical do you like use whatever colors you want always always just for inspiration you guys and Thank you so much to everyone for watching all of my breezers, my originals, and all of the ones who have joined me along the way. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you so much. Now, if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. 
stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye, guys. Let's get in to the first yow. Man, I am killing it today. Okay, so <laughs> I have to tell you guys a little story. So you guys, I've said before that I always uh, film my intros and whatnot after I'm done church. So today after church, I had to run up to uh, the local grocery store out here at the beach. And um, I was wearing a really pretty spring, like summer dress. I can kind of show you a little bit. You see, it's like really pretty. And I have my, my Ukraine support ribbon on as well that we got in church. But um, it's, it's a flowy, flowy dress. And uh, yeah, it's windy. And I got out of my car and was walking into the store. And I kind of Marilyn Monroe the whole parking lot. They 100% they got a show. So um, to all of you people who were in Papa G's parking lot, you are welcome. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I know what I did here. Kind of. Should I zoom a little bit? What's happening? What's happening? Chaos. Chaos. There's chaos happening. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm me. course as soon as I start talking as soon as I start talking listen listen she's losing her mind she's like mom come and get me but I'm not gonna get her today she's driving me bananas she's driving me bananas and I might I might throw her into a stew um look at the highlights man Check that out. This is a good hair day today. And like I feel really springy and summery and fabulous and it's so nice. But I will say, oh, I need some color. I need some color. My legs are so white. I was wearing some tan shoes today. You could hardly see them. It was so bad. I need, I need some sunshine. <laughs> And you guys, if you like home decor that's on a budget, that you can... What? <laughs> and if you guys like... <laughs> Ugh.